everybody. everybody. We are coming back today with another recipe. You know, I know we've made meatloaf on our channel before, but me and the chef, we like to make several different versions of meatloaf. And it's time for dinner here. We decided we wanted to have our Cheetos Zesty Cheesy Meatloaf. So that's what we're going to share with you guys today. This one's one of my favorites. Yeah, this is one of the chef's favorites. Kids love it too. So hopefully you guys tag along with us. Try this out. I guarantee if you give it a try, you're going to like it. So in this bowl over here, I've got one and a half pounds of ground chuck. You can use ground beef. It doesn't have to be ground chuck. Um, you want to try to use at least 80-20 because you don't want to have too much fat in there. To that, we're going to add, I've got one medium onion diced. I've got a quarter cup of bell pepper diced. I've got one heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. I've got two eggs. I have a quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And I have four mozzarella cheddar cheese sticks. Those are going to go in the center of our meatloaf. I've got my pan over here that I've lined with parchment paper. It just makes it easier to get it out of the pan. We've got a little, for our zestiness, we've got a little bit of Heinz 57 steak sauce that's going to go in there. If you don't have Heinz 57, you can always use A1 if you'd like, or a little Worcestershire. We have the star of the show, which is Cheetos right here. We're going to be grinding those up. We've got some mustard. We've got some ketchup. We've got some brown sugar because we're going to be using that for the top also. We've got some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder. And we're going to be using just a tad bit of sriracha. You can leave it in. You can omit it, or you can add any hot sauce that you want if you like hot sauce in your stuff. But because the penguin likes sriracha, we're going to add just a little bit to this. This is our cheesy, zesty meatloaf, Cheetos meatloaf. So let's get to grinding up this stuff. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my ingredients off my cutting board. My onions, my garlic, my bell peppers, and my shredded cheese. And I'm going to put all this into my bowl with my ground chuck. I love these scrapers. If you guys don't have one, you might invest in one. I think they're about $5 at Walmart. Bench scraper, dough scraper. A lot of people call them different things. Great for using for other things, too, though. Yeah. We use them to cut pizza sometimes, too. Yeah. So, get all that off of there. All right. Get that in there. Now we're going to do, I'd say it's going to be about a half a teaspoon of salt. You don't want too much because the cheese has a lot of natural salt in it. And because we like pepper, we're going to do about a teaspoon of pepper. Let me take the cap off, make it a little easier. There we go. About a teaspoon of pepper. Yeah, the pepper doesn't come out of them super fast than I made them. We're going to do about a teaspoon of onion powder. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. We found out that Walmart makes about the best for the best price on the garlic powder and the <clears throat> onion powder. There's no salt in them. So. Yeah. Okay. Shake, shake up my sriracha. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of sriracha. About a half a teaspoon probably. And get our mustard. I'm going to do about little over about a teaspoon and a half of yellow mustard and pardon my arm got to get our zestiness we're going to use the Heinz 57 zesty steak sauce that's what I got at the Dollar Tree for a baller yeah and we're going to do about two teaspoons of zesty steak sauce and I'm not going to mix this yet. We're still going to add our eggs and our Cheetos, but I'm going to grind up my Cheetos. So we're going to get ready to do that. Okay. We have our bottom blade in our food processor. Got our Cheetos open. We're just using the regular ones. You can use the Flamin' Hot if you'd like. We've done that before too, but because the chef's stomach, we don't use the Flamin' Hot ones. So, yeah. I, Penguin's got to eat one. <laughs> All right. We're going to put couple of cups of Cheetos in here. It's about two cups. And we're going to put our lid on. 
And we're just going to grind these up. So, sorry about the noise. Beware. Okay, we're just grinding them up like you would if you were going to use crackers or anything else in your meatloaf. Take our blade out. And in goes our Cheetos. We're going to do about a cup and a half of Cheetos. That's enough right now. We're going to save the rest for our topping. We're going to put some Cheetos on top of this meatloaf too. Okay, now I'm going to go wash my hands real quick and we're going to get back, get our eggs in and get to mixing. Okay, now we're going to get our eggs in here. I got my hands all clean. How many of you like playing in the meatloaf? Mushing it all up with your hands? Takes out frustrations, right? So we're just going to get in here and we're going to give this all a good mix. You want to make sure you have your eggs in here because your eggs is what helps bind everything together. Oops, and an overflow. I guess I needed a li little bigger bowl, but that's okay. We still have enough in here that we're not going to miss that little itty bitty bit that we didn't get. You just want to make sure you get it all good and incorporated. Once I get all this done, I'll be back. Okay, we've got this all mixed up now. I've got our mess clean. If you can see all that cheese and Cheetos in there. I'm going to get our pan here. You guys can see me. Yeah. I'm going to spray the pan. Even though I've got parchment paper in there, I still want to give it a little spray. If you spray the inside of the pan before that. Yeah, I spray the inside of the pan. If you spray it just a little, it helps your parchment paper stick in the pan better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take half of our meatloaf mixture... Put it into the bottom of our pan. Get this all pressed in here. You want to get it nice and pressed in, compact in here. This is good meatloaf, y'all. Hope you guys give it a try. I know our other meatloaf um, got a lot of views on that one. Seemed like it was a big hit. I had a, a lady that just sent me a comment yesterday, I believe. She said that she had made it, and she said it was absolutely wonderful. That was our stovetop stuffing meatloaf. Oh, the one your mom used to make? Yeah. So this one right here, I think if you guys give it a try, you're going to find it, it's similar in flavor, but yet it has its own It has its own flavor. Yeah, well, we, we made this before and had kids over, and they really love it because of the Cheetos. We make all different kinds of meatloafs, though. Yeah. I mean, Meatloaf's a versatile thing. You can do all kinds of different things with a meatloaf. So, all right. Now we have our first half packed down in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my cheese sticks. And I'm going to put my cheese sticks right here in the center of my meatloaf. And just press them down a little bit. You guys can see that. I think they can see that. Yeah, can they I see got that? Yeah, right at it. Okay. Get our cheese sticks down in there, right in the center. Cover the whole length of the meatloaf. And we've got a couple of extras, so we're just going to try to squeeze that in there too. Because you can't have enough cheese in a Cheeto zesty cheesy meatloaf. It reminds right, me, chef? Yeah, it reminds me of the mall. There used to be a place in the mall... That's in the next big town over, and one of the places in there used to sell these corn dogs, and they had a big lump right in the center of these foot-long corn dogs. That's what they did. They filled it full of cheese. So when you got to that middle part and you went to bite, boy, this pulled apart. Okay, so now we've got our cheese in there, and I pressed down into the meatloaf just a little bit with that, and we're going to go with the rest of our meatloaf right on top. Put it right on top of our cheese. I know it smells good. Yep. If it wasn't for the fact that it was raw hamburger, I think I'd be digging in with a spoon about now. God love cheese. God love meatloaf. One of those comfort foods. Yeah, another gray day outside here today, so. It's been gray every day. Gray every day, and then all this stuff that's going on in the world. 
all that turmoil on Capitol Hill. I turned the TV on and it said that there was a woman on Capitol Hill that had been shot and killed. Very sad, very sad that people have to resort to uh, that type of antics to get their point across. <clears throat> Had one jump ship. I know, that's all right. It can stay out. I got it. We've got enough in here that we don't, it, we're not going to miss that one. We're just getting this all packed down in here. Make it nice and make it nice and flat on top. You can never be too fast with perfection, right? <laughs> <laughs> like anything I ever do is perfect. It is. Yeah, right. You're just saying that you're biased because you're married to me. Har, har, har. Har, har, har. Okay, now we've got this all in here. I'm going to take a real quick break. I'm going to wash up my hands and we're going to get ready to do the topping. Okay, we're going to get ready to do our topping now. And because we have cheese and heat, we need to have a little sweet. Got to have a little sweet heat in here. So we're going to do a couple of heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. About two and a half of brown sugar. And to this, we're going to add some ketchup. I'd say probably about a quarter of a cup of ketchup into here. Oops, sorry about the noise. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> we're going to add just a dash of mustard. About a teaspoon. And then we're going to add some more 57 sauce. Give it that sweet and zesty. Yeah, when I was a kid, you used okay. to be able to get a zesty sauce in about any steakhouse, but now there's very few that have the Heinz. Got about two tablespoons of the zesty sauce in there. We're just going to mix this all up with our brown sugar. Make sure you get all your lumps smashed. Get everything all mixed up. This is one of the best parts of a meatloaf to me. Except there's another meatloaf that we make and we don't use ketchup at all in that one. Um, which we might make it. We might make that one in the future. It's another one of our faves. Yeah. It's got some very different ingredients in it that you guys probably wouldn't expect to see in a meatloaf. I bet you the guys out there would like our steak loaf if we ever made our steak loaf for them. Okay. Sorry, but Penguin's got to taste a little to make sure it's... Make sure I got the right amount. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to take our topping. We're going to put it on top of our meatloaf and spread it around. Get it in all the nooks and crannies. This will soak into your meatloaf and cook into it. Get it all spread around. Turn my pan around a little bit so I can see. The more the merrier. You can't overdo it too much with this good topping. Because it's going to cook in and it's going to make a nice sticky glaze on the top. Okay, now we've got that done. A spoon over here, put the bowl out of the way, and we're gonna come. But you still got topping left to put more. Yeah, on. I still have more topping left if I needed more. I'm gonna take some of my Cheetos, sprinkle it right over the top. I'm gonna get this done, and we'll be back. Okay, now I've taken a cookie sheet and I've lined it with aluminum foil. Just in case we have any bubble over. Usually we don't, but I always do this just in case because nobody wants an extra mess to clean up, right? You can see we've got the top nice and coated with our sweet and zesty sauce and topped with our Cheetos. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're going to put this in the oven. We're going to let it bake for about an hour and 15 minutes. So I will check it periodically and I'll let you know the exact time when it's all done but let's get this baby in the oven and there is our ooey gooey cheesy cheeto zesty meatloaf hot out of the oven we're gonna let it sit here and kind of cool down for probably about 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll take it out and cut it up and show you the cheesiness inside there you have it that is our zesty cheesy 
Cheetos, meatloaf. You see that cheese on the inside of there? Bubbly cheese. Oh, so good. What do you eat? Yeah, can't wait to eat. We're both hungry, so we're going to plate this up, and we'll be back. And there you have it, folks. This is dinner at the Penguin in the Chef's House tonight. Scalloped potatoes, cottage cheese, and zesty, cheesy Cheetos meatloaf. Oh, that cheese looks so good. We're so hungry. And yeah, we threw on a couple extra Cheetos just for shits and giggles. Hope you guys have a chance to make this. It's another one of our meatloaf specialties. I will tell you, I forgot to mention that I do cover it with aluminum foil for the first 45 minutes of baking time. And then after that, I remove the foil and let it cook for the rest of the 45 minutes without, or the rest of the 30 minutes without the foil on top. So that's just to keep your Cheetos from burning on the top. So hope you guys have a chance to make this one and enjoy it. It's really and, good. All right, guys. Take care. See you later. See you later. Bye-bye.